In this video, we're going to dive into the nifty world of ripple, roll, slip, and slide edits in Final Cut Pro. We'll kick things off by talking about ripple edits. To begin, switch to the Select tool by pressing A. Now drag some clips around to arrange them however you like. Pay attention as any connected clips will stay attached as you drag. Those helpful blue guides will show you where you can insert, and the other clips will neatly shuffle to fill any resulting gap. When you move footage in the timeline forward or backward using an inserted clip, that's what we call a ripple edit. You can also drag a clip above the primary storyline and it will become a connected clip. As you drag footage into the timeline, any subsequent media will gracefully slide left or right to make room. Next up, we'll switch gears to the trim tool by pressing T. With this tool in hand, you can perform roll, slip, or slide edits. Let's start with the roll edit, which changes the position of the edit point between two clips. Simply select the point you want to tweak and then drag it left or right. Both clips will trim themselves accordingly. Now let's tackle the slip edit. This neat trick lets you glide through a clip's available media without changing its duration. All you have to do is drag the middle of the clip left or right as you wish and voila, you'll change the part of the clip that is currently on display. But before we move on, how about sharing some positivity by hitting that thumbs up button? It's not just about telling me if I'm nailing this explanation, it also helps others discover this video. Thanks a million. Lastly, let's master the slide edit. This one allows you to shift a clip's position in the timeline without messing up your project's overall duration. With the trim tool in hand, hover over the clip you want to move. Now, hold down the Option key, and you'll notice the cursor icon changes. While keeping Option pressed, glide the clip left or right, and you'll smoothly adjust its position. No matter which of these edits you're diving into, you can always use the Extend Edit shortcut. Just position the playhead where you want the edit point to be. Select the edit point and press Shift X to snap the edit point to the playhead. It's a quick and handy trick. When you're making any of these edits, remember that your connections will also be on the move. To keep them firmly in place, simply hold down the tilde key while you're doing your edit. It acts as a handy anchor. If you see a point turn red while you're dragging it, don't worry, it's just indicating that you've reached the end of the available media for that side of the clip. Now that you've got the hang of ripple, roll, slip, and slide edits, it's time to take your skills to the next level by learning how to edit effects in Final Cut Pro. I'm going to walk you through eight tips for editing effects, including a sneaky trick to save your effects for later use. Ready to elevate your video editing game? Just click here to check it out.